Hi, this is Sine with the next how-to video in the series. Today we're going to take a look at using an FTP client, which is a program that allows you to copy files to and from your computer and the internet. You'll need this when you begin designing your own capture pages and putting them on your domain. To get started, we're going to go to Google and type in FileZilla. Now FileZilla is a program that I use that's free easy to use and will allow you to do everything we're talking about. Click on the FileZilla link and download the FileZilla client. You're going to put it somewhere on your computer uh, where you can get to it again. I'm going to choose the Win32 setup so that I don't have to extract the files manually. Now if you'll remember from previous videos we have talked about how to zip files and send zip files or and extract zip files. Okay, after you click on the link, it will ask you what you want to do with this file. We're going to choose save the file. And I'm going to put it in a location on my hard drive so that I can run it in just a moment. I'm going to create a new folder on my computer because I like to stay organized. Now that the download is complete, I'm going to go install it. To do that, I'm going to right click on the start button and choose explore. I'm going to navigate to where I stored it on my computer and if you'll remember I have a download directory where I put software and I created a new directory called FileZilla. To install it, I'm just going to double click, agree to their terms, and answer a couple of questions. Anyone who uses this computer should be able to use the client. Sure, that's great. Um, and I don't want a desktop icon. If I did, I could check that box. Click Next. Now, I recommend you put it wherever it, it recommends. Now, I'm, I'm not going to take my own recommendation because I put all my tools in one particular location. Install. it's complete so we just say finish and put that in my start bar so I'm going to open it by clicking start programs and find my FileZilla FTP client this is the icon so now I'm launching it okay to help keep this program working well for everyone if you find a bug they do want you to report it now I will tell you that since I've been using it, I haven't found a single one. This is the uh, application and how it will appear. Everything on the left side here is your computer. Everything on the right side will be the computer you're connected to. You have a couple of options to connect. If you know the host name, username, password, and port, you can simply type it in and quick connect. You use this if this is not a site that you're going to regularly visit. If you do have a site that, for example, for your capture page, for your domain, that you are regularly going to visit, click this icon and let's set up that site so that you can choose it each time. So I'm going to create a new site to show you how you'll create yours. Once you've chosen new site, give it a name. I'm going to call this my site. Press enter to save the changes. Now tell it where you're going to be connecting to. The port, and by the way for most computers that's 21. We are going to be using the FTP protocol and for privacy's sake I'm going to protect my username and password. You don't mind, do you? Comments are for your benefit only. Uh, put a reminder here what this site is for. Click the Connect button. The area on the right side represents the computer that you're connected to. To transfer a file from your computer to the server, navigate to the files you want to transfer. Once you're connected, 
you can transfer files from your computer to the remote computer and vice versa. So let's say I wanted to put up a new capture page that I just created. I would navigate to where that is by finding it on my local computer. Now, as you can tell, I have a few sites. And then on the right side, tell it where I want to put it. So I'm going to transfer it to my computer on images, this image, to my website in the candle subdirectory. Okay, it's as easy as click, drag, and drop. After a moment, the file will now appear on your remote server. Now remember that this traffic is both ways. If you have something on your remote server or your capture page that you want to download back to your computer, it's simply click, drag, and drop the other way. Now if it exists on your computer, you will have to answer, do you want to overwrite it? Okay, that's it. That's transferring a file from your computer to the network or from the network back to yours.